This is where we are eating dinner, guys. And I know the next clip is gonna be like lighter outside, and that is because I forgot to, to film before we went in. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving pictures. <laughs> 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 I'll tell where we're eating. We're right across from the pyramid and we've actually never ate here before. We have checked in and hopefully very soon All going right, through we these had to do the whole scanning of the menu thing. This is one thing I, that's probably not going to change after everything goes back to semi-normal. They probably like it this way. I don't. These are the chips and salsa that you get when you come here. So, I haven't shown you the inside. So, normally, you would want to book a dining reservation, kind of like we did, right before closing, so you could see fireworks. But that's not gonna happen now, is it? You can tell they normally probably have uh, more tables here, so this booth right here is probably not a good of you because you would have people obstructing it. Um, but yeah, I'm real. this is bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Nice, nice music playing, nice atmosphere. We've got the cod fish tacos. They're beer battered. Both of our meals come with rice and beans. Um, I got the chicken, and he actually brought me some tortilla shells. Um, little bitty tortilla shells here. You can see they're, they're pretty tiny um, to make little... Um, fajitas or whatever if I wanted to, burritos, whatever. Um, this is a pineapple sauce. <laughs> Tom, he dropped all the food. We didn't have our dish uh, silverware yet. And Tom said, um, he, when he asked, could he give us anything else? Tom said silverware. And he says, don't be shy. He says, you're in a Mexico restaurant. Use your hands. <laughs> I really like these hangy stars. It's very good, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you for coming, amigo. Oh, this is so weird. The park is closed. It closed 30 minutes ago. Um, our hands are full. Bags. Refills. Tom's got two bags. Oh my gosh. I can get a picture of the pyramids with nobody in front of it. Oh, I'm so taking advantage of that situation. Now, we normally like to do these re reviews from, you know, right after eating from the parks. But because of the whole mask situation, we wanted to make sure you could hear us. So, it's actually the next day at the resort. So, atmosphere, wonderful. Um, if the fireworks were going on, oh, yeah. you would definitely want a late night um, reservation. And Those we, windows were huge. You don't yeah. realize it from the outside. Yeah, we, we've seen it before, though. If you have a reservation, which is kind of eking up on the start of firework time, they expect you to stay, and I would imagine it would have been the same yeah. here. So my dish um, came with the beans and rice, the best black beans I have ever had. Like, the manager actually came around, you were in the bathroom, um, asked if everything was okay, and I praised about those beans. I don't know what the flavoring was, but they were wonderful, and I love black beans. Um, they, the consistency was right. Uh, the rice was just typical, no big deal, but when you mix it in with um, the rest of the flavors, like the chicken and the vegetables I had, um, they were fine, nothing spectacular. Had a little bit of spice to it, a little bit of kick. The salsa they gave us oh, let, had a little let, bit of kick. Let, let's go back to the salsa they gave us, the other precursor here. Oh my gosh, that was really, really good. It was very fresh tasting, had just a little bit of life to it. It just tasted 
fresh and the a little bit of kick and the chips were chips were just were right they were um they were a little bit warm had just a little bit of salt to them they weren't greasy they had some body and some flavor to them i think that's why i liked them is they weren't greasy holy cow they yeah that, that was some of the best yeah. chips and salsa i can remember in a long time um he brought little corn shells out for me if i wanted to make like a quesadilla fajita whatever um i i may have shown y'all that that it was kind of um they were kind of like stuck together and they were just average uh price wise would you have just like a chicken and vegetable thing okay i don't think you told them well they knew because they just saw us eating it oh oh <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh okay <laughs> okay um so what, i don't do a lot of editing the um you know they didn't have a lot to choose from no yeah once again it was just a very limited <laughs> and that may be because of the virus so many restaurants are like cutting their menus in half almost so i have no idea because this was the first time we'd ate there if the dining plan was going on that would have been a one credit meal uh we, we were ready to try that one uh yeah. prices were kind of up there for mexican food you know but we're at disney so you got to kind of expect that yeah my uh codfish tacos were pretty darn good oh, yeah. holy cow I, I i had one as like the whole taco thing um and that was a little awkward but still no yeah, it worked pretty good the shells again were pretty good it had this nice little lambery sauce on it like and a lime sauce was no pineapple no, no there was a pineapple salsa on it yeah. but then it had some sort of sauce on it too which added some flavor and it was really really nicely prepared um fish they were like it was kind of like a fish bratwurst um, it was about that size, and it was good, fresh, properly prepared. Um, if anything, just a touch on the greasy side as far as, you know, it was kind of like I almost had fish and chips anyway, uh, which I love in Epcot um, because the fish was a lot like that. And then we had the tortilla chips, which, of course, any English person would, like, think that was all wrong. But anyway... So I actually took two bites of his fish, only two because I don't do well. I don't like fried foods, but I wanted to taste the fish. But that pineapple stuff that was on top of it was so good. That flavor with the fish was wonderful. Now granted, I couldn't take more than two bites because it was greasy yeah, and I, that was too much for me. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, there wasn't a lot for me to choose from there that I was going to be real happy with. But uh, I kind of went out on a limb there and was very pleased with what I had. Yeah, the, I really would like to see the restaurant in its full glory. Because all restaurants now just look a little awkward. Because the tables are in weird positions or there's so much open space. Uh, not fussing about open space. But it just looks awkward. <laughs> so, um... I yeah, like it. We would probably try it again under normal circumstances in hopes that there was more to the menu, but I really like the interior. Yeah, I would, I would, you know, next time uh, an opportunity came along, I'd like to check out the menu at that point in time and see if there was something else I'd like to try. Not that I wouldn't love those fish tacos again, but it would be All fun right, to try so something different. There are a couple more, or one more, maybe there's only one more restaurant that we've tried that we've never tried before. Um, but we are there everywhere we eat. We're doing a review even if we have ate there before because we get different stuff things changes Changes and plus it's after the it's during the whole virus thing So there is a Disney restaurant review Playlist, so if you're curious about a restaurant check out that playlist. We probably have it on there. Wow, where did, who did all those reviews? We did over years Cool. Years of reviews. Years of reviews. All right, guys. We'll see you at the parks. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I've been all around the world. Oh. Every city, every place.